Okay, you got. <coughs> okay, you guys, what is up? <laughs> Let me start that all over again. The King of Lightning is here today to do Kuroko no Basuke, chapter 270 review. I have mixed feelings, man. Dude, when the chapter first started, and then you see the color page of the second door to the zone, the inner zone being open, and then you see, like, the silhouette images of other people, from that point on, I knew that the inner, inner zone area had a direct correlation with Kagami's teammates, Team Satan. And at the end of the chapter, we have the name of the true zone, the direct drive zone. And basically, it's every person on their team synchronizing with Kagami. And throughout the chapter, you see like little hints. Like the first big hint was the color page itself and the silhouettes. The second one was seeing everyone just stare at Kagami. Like when I, when I say everyone, I mean his teammates. You have Tepe, Hyuga, Izuki, Kuroko. They're staring right at Kagami. And then there was this apparently a mysterious pressure that Rakuzan were feeling. It wasn't just Akashi. It was Akashi, it was Ryo, it was Chiro, and Hayama also had a feeling too. And he confirms that when he was going for the layup. And before then, it's basically Hayama against his once again, Hayama against Izuki. Hayama does the dribble. He gets past Izuki. And then, once that happens, once Hayama gets past Izuki, there's a, two small panels where you see, like, Tepe and you see Hyuga. And as if, like, their eyes flared up, like, they just caught wind of something. And in comes Kagami, tries to block, and Hayama does a, a double clutch. So it's like, no, come in, I'm gonna go right under, I'm gonna go and fire a layup, right fire. I'm gonna shoot a layup right under the the basket, double clutch. But in comes Hyuga to block the second clutch. And then, Kaim gets the ball, we hop over to Aomine, and he's like, fuck! So that's what it was, god damn it! No wonder I can't go into that inner zone, because I threw that long ago i threw it away and it's basically just teamwork it, it's the pinnacle of teamwork to synchronize yourself with your teammates or vice versa like your teammates yeah it's your teammates synchronizing with you and when you have almine is actually crying like that kind of surprised me i'm like is almine straight up tearing up like, is Aomine Tears Waterworks? The hell? I thought that the sprinklers don't work until 2 o'clock in the morning. What the fuck is happening? This dude... Uh, so, thing here is that we have the final page, the final panel of the chapter. And this is when I knew that this was some crazy shit. Where you have Kaimi in the zone, full on. And then you have... Kuroko, he passes the ball to Kuroko, and Kuroko immediately passes the ball back to Kagami, so he can get past Akashi, and the, I don't know what they are, but the line streaks that emit from the person's eyes when they're in the zone occurred, occurred when Kuroko hit the ball. The line streak is on the ball. Like, what the fuck? Normally, it's on their eyes. Like, they're using 100% of their power or their skill. Yeah, that's not power, right? They're not super saints. So, they're using 100% of their skill. But the fact that the line is now on the ball 
when Team Saren touched the ball, or at least in this particular case, when it comes to Kuroko and Kagami, it symbolizes the entire team as a whole unit being in sync with each other. As if like this line is connecting their entire team. Something like that. And Kagami being the front man. Being the origin of this connection. So. I like it, but I don't. Like I, I don't know. It makes perfect sense. It makes perfect sense within the confounds of the story, within considering the fact that when you look at Kuroko, his being as a basketball player, who what he symbolizes, he is the shadow, Kagami is the light, and then you have these three other guys, Izuki, Tepe, Hyuga, have, they have been through extreme trials and tribulations together. And how Kagami himself is someone who is considered gen level. And the fact that... The fact that... These three, meaning Hyuga, Izuki, and Tepe... They have a strong bond between themselves. And they pretty much brought in Kuroko and Kagami into the fold. I understand it. It makes perfect sense. But at the same time, there's something about it that kind of throws me off. It kind of irks me a tad bit. I'm not too sure what it is. I can't put my finger on it. Almost as if like I was expecting the individual to supersede the team. But there is no I in team. So, I mean, I guess in this sense, I'm reading a manga and I'm trying to instill what I've been accustomed to when it comes to Western concepts. Because in Western concepts, it's, it's, and I forgot the exact terminology, but in the Western world, in the Western hemisphere, it is more or less the individual supersedes the group whereas in the eastern hemisphere it's the group supersedes the individual all right and and it's a concept that i think has existed for a long period of time but i was thinking that maybe they would actually do something on it, an individual level when it came to academy but no it's a whole team thing and the, again the moment you see the first color page you know that you in, you know that immediately, and maybe I was thinking that like him entering the inner inner zone would be more or less like him taking a look back at his life as a basketball player, and then finding a clue within his past in order to unlock the inner inner zone. But no, it, the person who winds up blocking the door. It's not himself. It's not a version of himself. It's not like his future self or his past self. No, it's Kuroko. Kuroko opens the fucking door for him. He's like, yo, like, we're a team. We're a unit. We are one. And in the case of Rakuzan, Rakuzan, you have five individuals that are extremely skilled that are using 90% of their skill at least and you have Akashi himself being the conductor. But in this case, Team Saren is of one body, of one mind. So, again, it, it makes sense to me. It makes perfect sense. And I'm going to give the chapter rating a great. But at the same time, there's something about this chapter that I can't put my finger on that makes me want to second guess my rating. So... I'm going to leave it at that. Yeah, I'm going to leave it at that. I'm going to call it a day. And... Uh, yeah, let me just... For now. 
for now. Because I want to think about this, and I guess I'll talk about it in... Because I haven't done a Kuroko basket, a Kuroko no basket discussion video. I haven't done one. So maybe I'll talk about it, but... And I say maybe for a reason, alright? I make no promises, I say maybe. But, at the same time... If I did talk about it, I wouldn't know what to talk about. <laughs> to be very honest, alright? So I'm having... So let me just get my mind. Let me just get my understanding of where I'm coming from. Let me just work it out. Fuck it. Let me just work it out. Let me keep simple. Let me work it out, and I'll get I'll get back to you guys later. Okay. So overall, the chapter rating is gonna be great. All right. Obviously, there's a huge amount of story progression. Obviously, we're fi we finally entered the inner inner zone, and I'll leave it at that. So King Lightning. Rate the video, comment, subscribe. Peace. Have a nice day.